Have you tried him for yourself? Yes. Or did somebody else have to tell you that he's able? Yes. But if you tried him for yourself, you ought to have a testimony yes. to say that for God is able to do whatever I need done. He's able this morning. He's able. This morning. If you have your Bibles, turn with me to 1 John. 1 John, it'll be the book after 2 Peter. It'll be the book after 2 Peter. 1 John, the third chapter, verses 16 and 17. 1 John, the third chapter, verses 16 and 17 might have the right to the tree of life. Yes, yes, yes. That's what Jesus did for us. Yes, yes. The scripture says he didn't take his life, he gave it. Yes, yes, right. yes, he did. For little old you and little old me. Yes, yes. He gave it in hopes that it will change our thinking, it will change our mindset, it would give us the understanding that we have to love one another in spite of whatever else they might got going on. But we got to love one another. Just think Jesus loved us in all of our mess. In all of our flaws, Jesus still loves us. But what about us? Do you love in spite of other folk for, for us? Yes, yes, yes. Love is sacrificial. Love is an act of doing. Yes. The act for the good of all of us. Jesus showed you that he loves you by dying for you. Yes. Jesus did not only show you love, but he showed love to the whole world by dying for all of us. No matter our nationality, no matter the color of our skin, no matter where we live, no matter what kind of job we have, God died for all of us. But I like this next verse. It says, but whoever has worldly goods and see his brother or sister in need and close his heart against them, how does the love of God abide in him? That's a mouthful right there. That's a mouthful. Whosoever has worldly goods and see his brother or sister in need and close his heart against them, how does the love of God abide? Let somebody know that they're not in this thing alone, that you walk with them and you're by their side because Jesus gave you the understanding. Yes, yes, yes. You can serve somebody just by offering them a meal. You can serve somebody just by offering them something that they need. You don't have to always give with money. Money. You can give your service. Yes, yes, yes. You can give your service. How many of our children in this community may not be reading on the same grade level they need to be reading on? And you are an educator and you can give your time to help some child who may be struggling. You can give your child, you can give your time to some adult that may be struggling. I think when you take the United Methodist thing, when you come join the church, they ask you for your time, your service. You serve people in your church. You give the church your time. You give God your time. You can do the same thing in your community. But most of all, it gives you a closer relationship with God. 
Sacrificing for others demonstrate that you trust God's wisdom. It reflects your willingness to surrender your all to him. And it is, it's his, it's not ours. He just let us hold it for a little while. Because when we die, we can't take nothing with us but what we came with. In the midst of my hands, you can lift somebody up and encourage them and let them know that I too was down and out. I too was lost. I too was sick. But look what God has done. See, some people need an example to see where you've been so they can praise God with you when they come out of whatever they're in. Yes, right. I'm going to my seat. And it frees us from self-centeredness. I know y'all aren't going to do nothing on that. Let me say that again. It frees us from self-centeredness and from selflessness. Laying down your life breaks the chains of selflessness. It liberates you from pursuing the material things, the statue, and the self-gratification. You discover deep joy in giving more than you do receiving. Because the Bible tells us it's better to give than to receive. It's better to give than to receive. And then they always talking about money. Our first mind is, I got to give up my money. It ain't about that. You give yourself and watch the Lord bless. You give yourself. And as I go to my seat, remember that laying down your life does not necessarily mean a physical death. It reveals in everyday acts of love, compassion, and service. It's about the reflection of God's love for you and for others. Are you willing to bless someone who's in need? Are you willing to help your fellow man or woman this morning? Are you willing to lift someone's spirit by sharing the word of God? Are you willing to encourage those who need encouragement? Laying down your life is about your willingness to help. When Jesus laid down his life for us, it was about salvation and the forgiveness of sin and love. Love. What love? What does love have to do with it? Everything. Everything. Love. Love your neighbor as yourself. Love. Love you.